How's it going, Reef Keepers? Hope everybody had a good Monday. Uh, I've got a new podcast episode up if you want to check that. Um, but I wanted to talk about something that's been coming up recently with regards to my tank. I think as you guys have gotten used to my tank more, you felt more comfortable kind of saying, hey, what about this? What about that? One thing that I keep getting comments on is this. Why, <laughs> why you know, in a tank that you obviously spend a good deal of time on, are you letting you know, this stuff happen on your seams. <laughs> and uh, from what I can ascertain, there are two camps in this hobby having a quiet, you know, in the backdrop war over how we feel about coral and algae on the seams, all right? One camp firmly believes that coral and algae growing along the seams will eventually work its way back underneath the seams. And by the way, I believe people who are like, I have seen it with my own eyes. <laughs> it has happened to me, you know, or my friend or whoever. The other camp is like, don't mess with it. Don't get too close to the seam when you're scraping it. If you, you know, jam your scraper underneath that seam right there, all it takes is one time and then the coralline will be let in underneath the seam and you will have to constantly battle the, battle the you know, uh, degradation of the seam by coral and algae and, you know, other muck working its way under and, you know, chipping away and weakening the silicone. So guys, I don't know. Um, this is one where like, I have no like guidance on it. I, I assumed that, you know, I've seen a lot of those red sea tanks that have failed. And I have noticed that the red, uh, several of the angry videos posted when the, when the, you know, reefer would get up close I did notice that the seams were like totally gouged and eaten away by the scraper. So like seeing that in conjunction with like major tank failures, I I was like, okay, you know, going into this big tank, I you know, I think I'm just gonna not gouge my seams. I'm just gonna like stay off those seams and you know, not dig at them and just kind of like let the coral and grow. And I, to be fair, I haven't noticed yet. I mean, it could be just a time thing. I haven't noticed yet, you know, like any like major coral and incursions along my seams or anything of that nature. But uh, I don't know if I started seeing it, uh, you better believe that I'll be digging at the seams to get it out because that's the last thing I want is a slowly working coral and algae strain that's pushing its way back underneath my silicon and, you know, weakening it over time. So I guess I'm currently waiting and seeing, but I kind of want you guys to weigh in. Um, you know, I, I've heard from a few of you <laughs> who are like, you know, very one side or the other. Um, but yeah, I kind of want to hear if people have had experiences with this. Like if, if it's like 75% to 25% one way or the other, I think I'm going to kind of drift that way with my policy on, you know, Coraline on the seam. So you guys let me know. And uh, as a final thought, why the heck, I mean, this is like, you know, maybe I'll talk about this more in a podcast, but I don't really understand why, why are we still building tanks this way? We've had like the whole Red Sea debacle. People have seam struggles all the time. You hear about it all the time. I'm confused why we're not just putting, like why the industry is not just putting armored seams on tanks, like kind of like what Red Sea has begun to do with their new line. Why are we not just putting armored seams on tanks as standard? Why is this some special thing? Obviously like they're, they're you know, selling these as marine reef tanks. It's not like they're selling them as a freshwater tank that like, oh, you can also put salt water in it. Like you guys know this is a problem, you know? And, I, and if, if the people who are, you know, making the decisions on the tanks don't know it's a problem, all they have to do is ask their warranty department, I'm sure, and those guys would tell them, yeah, you know, this is a problem. Like, you know, this situation here is creating problems for people. So, um, yeah, I would like to see the industry kind of move toward armored seams as standard. Then I would feel totally confident just jamming the seams and knowing that I was covered. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you think, guys. Have a good one.